You're good. Cool. So we have uh, Boston here who just came in today. He came in on a prong collar, but not very responsive to a prong collar. So he's still pulling uh, very much, still pulling a lot. So I'm just gonna walk around to show how he is acting on the prong collar. I might have to go over by the yeah. So, one, I want to make sure that the prong collar is fitted properly. And I'd say it's fitted pretty good. I can get my hand inside of the prong collar, between the prong collar and his neck, but there's not a whole lot of extra room. Um, and I tried to scoot it up, scoot it up as high, a little bit higher underneath his ears. So, now, so ideally, he wouldn't be even pulling that much uh, on a prong collar, so he's not really responding as I pull. He's kind of just, he should be responding as soon as there's pressure, but he's maintaining pressure. Uh, so it's not really, he's not being responsive at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically allow the prong collar to, you can keep following me. Oh, okay. uh, allow the prong collar to function the way that it's supposed to. Uh, which is to uh, pinch release, similar to how a our kitten got a cicada and is making a ton of noise right now. Uh, but similar to how a a mama dog would correct her puppies if they're doing something wrong, she would bite them on the neck uh, to signify that that's not okay. And if she needed to, she'd pick them up and move them to where they needed to be. Uh, but when uh, when dogs are, are have become accustomed to pulling on these, they they kind of allow themselves to uh, build up and lean into it. So it's a gradual thing when they do that. They pull and it gets tight and it gets tight, and then they're just pulling and they're just they just have become accustomed to that. So I'm going to allow this to quickly. Uh, close and then release by giving quicker pops versus just pulling and allowing the leash to be taut. And I'm gonna see if I can get Rory to actually walk nicely on leash. No walk. No walk. No walk. So uh, he finally realized there was somebody on the other end of the leash. You can see he looked at me a couple times uh, like, what the heck? So all I did was just a quick pop like that to allow that to close and release quickly. So there was a more pronounced... Uh, no block, no block. Good boy. Good boy. No block. Good. So notice he's actually turning with me as I no block. So if he's not gonna turn, I'm just gonna give a small little pop. Um, he's getting distracted by these frog noises over here, which is good. It's good for training. Good, good. So here, as I as I get to where there's going to be leash tension, he is following me for the most part. Uh, and if he's not, then I'm just, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a quick pop, pop release versus pulling because he's not gonna respond. No block. Good, just a quick. Because he's not gonna respond. No block. Good. Just a quick little pop. Uh, and that first one, he did give a little huh? because I startled him. <laughs> uh, he's probably, maybe never even had that happen before. Uh, so he was not expecting that. 
Good, good. So what I'm actually gonna do is walk over closer to our kitten who has her cicada noisemaker as a distraction uh, so I can get some more opportunities to get him to pull. Is this a real one? Or yeah, is it a fake one? Data. Oh. <laughs> no block. No block. Okay. No block. So I'd say he's walking a, a little bit nicer, just with getting a couple actual leash pops. He's actually paying a little bit of attention to what direction I'm going and following me on turns. Good job, buddy. So if you have a dog that's been on a prong collar and still doesn't walk nicely, try giving a couple leash pops and any time that your dog gets uh, is getting ready to go ahead of you. Um, something that you can do if your dog is still being very persistent is when they get ahead, turn around and walk the other way so that they have to follow you and allow that leash to actually pop. So just continue to continue in stride, turn around and walk the opposite direction so that there's a pop and a release and then they will follow you in the opposite direction. If they get ahead of you again, turn around and go in the opposite direction. Even if you've got to do that four or five times on your walk, it might look a little crazy to people that are passing by, but your dog will be much more in tune to which direction you are moving.